Good morning, boys and girls. Are you ready for another day of learning? Great, I am too. We're still talking about farm animals. Today, we're going to be talking about something that begins with the letter sound. Do you want to hear that again? It begins with this sound. What letter makes that sound? P, that's right. Well, can you guess what farm animal begins with the letter P? Pig, you're right. We're going to be talking about pigs and we're going to be talking about hogs today. Remember I told you that a big pig is a hog. So we're going to talk about that in our, um, our book about farm animals. But first, you know the routine. We're going to do our daily message. I read, you read. Yesterday was Tuesday, so that makes today what? Wednesday. That's right. There are seven days in the week. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. And when we're done with this, let's sing our, our seven-day song. All right? All right, here we go. Today is Wednesday, April 8, 2020. It is a cloudy day. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. It is a cloudy day. And there's my period at the end. Remember, that's a telling sentence, so I end it with the period. All right. How many days of the week do we have again? Seven. That's right. Let's count them. Mon Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days in the week. So let's sing that song. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven days in a week. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. That's right. You got it. So remember this week we're talking about our farm animals. But before we get to talking about that pig that I told you we're going to be discussing today. Let's disengage our stress response. Today, we're going to pretend that we're draining all of our worries, all of our stress, all of our negative thoughts away. All right. So the way we do this is that instead of being loose like I am right now, we tighten everything up, everything, your shoulders, your legs, your feet, you tightening everything up so, 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 so tight. So you're almost stiff like a robot. So you're gonna do like this, you're gonna tighten everything, and then you're gonna let it drain. We're gonna do that three times, okay? Are you ready? All right, so everything is all tight. Now let it drain like water going out of the faucet down the drain. Good job. Let's do it again, tighten it up. And relax. One more time. Let's tighten it up. Drain it. Relax. Wiggle your shoulders. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle those shoulders again. Wiggle those nose. Now no more wiggles are left in me. And I'm as still, as still as can be. <sighs> I took one more deep breath. All right, guys. 
So I told you that we're going to be talking about the pig today. Pig. Say that word. Pig. P you hear that sound at the beginning of pig? Mm -hmm. Me too. So here's the animal we're talking about. This is a really big pig, isn't it? It's really big. I think this one is like a hog. It's kind of big. Mm -hmm. What is that pig doing? You see that orange thing there? It looks like the pig is eating. When pigs are moving around in the dirt like that, looking for something to eat, we say they are rooting for something to eat. They're rooting around for something to eat. Would you like to get your food that way? I sure wouldn't. You think that pig likes living and, and being around all that mud? Pigs like mud because it's cooling on their skin. It's cooling on their skin. I'm wondering where pigs take a bath. Hmm. That's something that we can research today. As you leave your comments for me on Google Classroom, why don't you look it up or, or go on YouTube maybe, or ask your parent or another grown up, where do pigs take a bath? How do pigs take a bath? Do pigs even take a bath? And let me know what you find out, all right? Pigs, we're gonna be talking about pigs today. So we talked about that sound at the beginning of the word pig, p, p, letter P makes that sound. So I have a poem about a pig and there's the letter P. Here's our uppercase P, let's write it. We start at the top, we go down, go back to the top and we do that little curve, that kind of oval. Let's go around. There we go. A P, uppercase P, it's, it's a straight line and it has kind of like an oval attached to it, right? Let's do it one more time. Let's go back up to the top, back around. There's the uppercase P. Now let's do the lowercase P. Straight line, back up to the top, go around that little circle. Let's do that in the air. You ready? All right, finger up, let's go down. Back up to the top, you did it. That's the uppercase P, let's do the lowercase P. You ready? Let's go, let's go down. Back up to the top, there you go, you did it. Letter P, letter P. All right, so let's listen to this poem about the letter P. Before I start reading, take a look at that pig. He's got a lot of stuff to eat, right? Man, he's eating a lot of stuff. Pigs do like to eat. And that's why sometimes when we're overeating, our families, our friends may say something to us like this, stop being a pig or don't be a pig because they're referring to how much food a pig eats. So let's read this. Pedro, pig, ate pudding and pumpkin pie for lunch. P -p -p with lots of purple punch. Let's read that again. Pedro pig ate pudding and pumpkin pie for lunch. P -p 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 with lots of purple punch. I heard a lot of P sounds in those words. P. When you're reading something and a lot of words begin with the same sound, that's called alliteration. Alliteration. Can you say that word? Alliteration. That's when a lot of words that you're reading in a poem or something like that begins with the same sound the same sound. Listen for the sound that P makes as I read this one more time. Every time you hear a word that begins with the P sound, P, 
put up a finger. All right, let's count them. And we'll see if, if we got it right when I'm done reading this. You ready? Let's go. Pedro, pig, ate pudding, and pumpkin pie for lunch. P -p -p with lots of purple punch. How many words that begin with the p sound did you count? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There were seven words that began with the letter P. P, P, P. Seven words that began with the letter P. Although they talked about pudding and pumpkin pie and purple punch, I see something else that begins, that begins with the sound that P makes. Do you? If you said pancakes, you're right. And what about pizza? That's right. Pumpkin pie, pancakes, purple punch, pizza, pudding, and pig all begin with the letter P, which sounds like, what's that sound again? You're right. Letter P. All right, guys, you know what time it is. We're going to wish each other well. We're going to sing our We Wish You Well song, and then we'll be back later with our informational text. And much later, you can click on the video with our read aloud for today. We're going to do some games with Ms. Ramirez. She has prepared some graphing exercises for you. I've got some counting exercises for my little ones. We've got sight words for the bigger ones. So get ready for lots of fun learning today on Google Classroom. Oh, I almost forgot our two vocabulary words. Farmer, farmer. A farmer is the one that's in charge of taking care of the farm and making sure that the crops grow well and the animals are well taken care of as they are raised. Farmer, let's spell farmer. F-A-R-M-E-R, -E farmer. Farmer. You know what's funny about the word farmer? If we covered up, if we covered up the letters E and R, guess what we'd have left? Farm. Farm. How about that? Farm. And when we add the E and the R, it becomes farmer, farmer. So that's one of our wonderful words of the week, our vocabulary words of the week, rather. And then our wonderful word of the week is agriculture. Can you say that? Agriculture, agriculture. You see the tractor there in the field? Agriculture is the business of farming. It's when crops are raised for food and it's when animals are taken care of and they're raised for food too. Agriculture, agriculture. Basically food though. I said animals, but agriculture is mostly food. Yeah, the food that we eat, the food that farmers raise for us to eat. 
livestock. That's the animals that farmers raise for us to eat. All right, so we're gonna push this over so we can see our classmates names i also want to wish some other children well that are not in our classroom my niece peyton my nephew preston i have a lot of little cousins so many that i can't even remember um my nephew rowan my niece Elle, oh my grandchildren mackenzie mikey malik Amaya, Imani, so many little children that I wish I could see you today. I wish you well. Parents, I wish you well too. I know you guys are having uh, a different sort of experience homeschooling if you haven't been doing that already. We're all in this together. We're working together to help our children be ready for next school year, right? All right, I wish you well. So back to our class. I wish you well, Anthony Butler, Anthony Williams, Ariana, Ariane, Bailey, Britton, David, Dalen Brown, Dalen Bolden, Fabian, George, Jason, Jaden, Jocelyn, Kalia, Kylie, Taylor, Tristan, Tyrone, and Yehoshaphat. I also wish you well, Miss Ramirez and Miss Redding. I miss you all. All right, let's sing our song. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. We wish you well. We wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. Parents, as you're sharing these YouTube videos with your children, if you would like me to mention your child's name in our morning greeting circle and wish them well, just please send me a message on Facebook and I'd be happy to do so. Wishing you well. Until next time.